When we start priming, the very first thing we want to do is inspect our supplies. We will be gathering our supplies as ordered by the medical director or the nephrologist. So as we are looking at all of our supplies, we are checking for expiration dates. This one is January 31st, 2020. This uh, bloodlines is 8-31-2019 and our saline is expiration October 2020. So we already know that we reuse supplies here at our training academy and that we are going to be using uh, reusing supplies. So we are not setting up for a dialysis patient. We are setting up so we can teach you how to prime. We will be setting up the Fresenius 2008K dialysis machine. We've gathered our supplies and now we will begin. When we are looking at the dialysis machines, we there's a lot of right ways of doing things and you are going to do it your company's way. So if you work at Fresenius, you'll be doing it the Fresenius way. If you're working at DaVita, the DaVita way, ARA, satellite, anywhere you're working, U.S. Renal Care, you'll be using their policy. So right now I'm going to open up the dialyzer. I'm going to take the caps, put them on the ends, take the cap, put it on the dialysate side. We do this so that no air can enter the dialyzer when we are priming this. So I'm going to put this venous side up. Number side is your arterial side. Without the number is the venous side. Put it on the dialyzer arm. I'm going to open up the blood line. I am not going to take off any of the tapes. So right now, I've taken off the blood lines. I'm going to put the venous line on top of the machine, and I'm going to just take the arterial line. I am not going to take any part, any of these tapes off because I want to have control over my blood lines. First thing I'm going to do is put my arterial chamber in the holder. And next, I am going to put the T line for the saline in the clamps. I'm taking off my first piece of tape, and this is the dialyzer side. It's the dialyzer side because it just has a cap on it. Dialyzer side has a cap. And I'm putting it right here in the groove holder. Next, I'm going to take the patient end. This is the patient end. The patient end has the big clamp. So remember, big clamp is the patient end. And I'm putting this inside the bucket. And I'm very careful not to put it all the way down into the bucket so it does not get contaminated. It will be right at the top of the bucket. So right now, what do we have? We have our saline line, we had our, our blood pump segment, and next I'm going to thread this through the blood pump. We do not want this where the rollers are because we could not get this to turn. So I'm just going to just free this up so I can put this snugly inside there. Just a little bit more. And once you see this, you can see it fits snugly inside. I'm just going to turn on the blood pump. And this is going to feed it through all the way to the end. And then snugly put this piece inside. I'm going to close the door. We have our arterial set up in place. Next, I'm going to get my venous bloodline and I'm going to put my venous chamber in the venous port. So 
So I've just put my venous chamber in the blood leak detector. I'm going to take off, what did we call this part? This has a cap on it, so it's the dialyzer end. And I'm gonna place it next to the arterial. I'm gonna take off the last piece of tape. And as you can see, I have control over my bloodlines. This is the patient end because it has the large clamp. And I'm gonna put that inside the bucket and let it rest until I'm ready to prime this portion of it. I'm going to hang my saline. Hang my saline up on the IV pole. Right now, I'm going to connect my two ends to my dialyzer. So now what we are going to do is we're going to start clamping. We pretty much clamp everything except the patient side. So I'm going to clamp my transducer line. I'm going to clamp my med port on my arterial side. I'm going to clamp my arterial, I'm sorry, my venous transducer line. I'm going to clamp my venous med port. And I'm just going to put these away a little bit, get these out of the way. So now you can see that you have a couple more clamps. This is the heparin line. I'm going to take this clamp, move it all the way up to the end, and clamp. And the only thing we have open is our saline. I'm going to take our paper tape off of there. I'm going to clamp the medicine port on our saline line and I'm going to clamp our first saline clamp and this is our secondary saline clamp. So we have two clamps on our saline. Right now I'm going to spike the normal saline using aseptic technique, always aseptic technique. Now I'm going to open the saline line and prime to gravity. So the saline line is open. If you can see this, you can see bubbles coming through. The bottom portion is priming. So the saline is coming through the bottom portion. Through gravity, it's priming. I'm going to clamp below the saline T. Now I'm going to fill the arterial chamber. You take the saline, you take the clamp off, and you open this cap very, very slowly. And if you can see here, you can see that saline is going to fill this chamber. Perfect. And then you're going to close and clamp. Now you're going to turn on your blood pump. If it's flashing, that means it's off. This is on, and we're going to push prime. And you can see where saline is coming down the bottom of the blood pump segment through the dialyzer. In a few moments, you'll be seeing saline coming up and out of the dialyzer. Why do we leave it at 150? Why don't we crank that up, take it to 500, get that saline going through there, and prime this in 
two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, because we want all of these fibers to fill and clear the saline through it. When blood goes through the dialyzer, if there is no saline in there or it was primed too fast, it can clot off the dialyzer. We do not want a clotted dialyzer. So now you can see the saline is coming up. It will be going through the, the venous chamber, out the venous chamber. and into the prime bucket. So what will it prime? It'll prime 200 to 250 cc's of saline through the dialyzer. So now I'm gonna tap the dialyzer, get any excess air out. So if you look at the dialyzer, you can see there's little air pockets, air bubbles. We wanna move those towards the center and move all of those air bubbles out. back in its arm and as soon as this just turned off we know that 200 250 cc's of uh, saline were primed through the dialyzer what we're going to do is marry our two ends just for this we're going to clamp and clamp there are two ends there's two connectors on here right now we need to take off one connector put it away and connect the male and female. Unclamp and clamp. Put those on the IV pole. Unclamp. So the only thing we have unclamped is our saline. Everything else is clamped. We're going to raise the level in our venous chamber. And I'm going to open this up so you can see that I'm going to unclamp this and slowly open the cap. And if you can see, the saline is filling above the eye. And this is the level detector. If any air is in here and pushes below this eye, the machine will shut off and will not allow you to continue until you remove the air that is in the lines. Close. We are ready to continue recirculating. I've closed, I've clamped, closed, clamped, 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 clamped. I'm gonna clamp off our saline and we are just going to recirculate our prime. There we go, priming a dialysis machine. When you have your patient on, everything should be in green. This line should be green. It's just saying that everything is clear. The next thing we're gonna do is take this into testing and recirculation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video.